Welcome back, Math Party people. Here we are, we've made it to what I can say arguably is the hardest type of systems of equations problem. Because in this problem here that we're gonna do and the examples to follow, we're gonna have to go ahead and modify not one of them, but both of the equations. And remember, the way that we've been modifying, if you haven't watched the previous video, please go ahead and watch it, it's gonna be worth it. But remember that what we did was, we modified one of the equations by, mod by multiplying the whole thing by a number. A certain number that would allow us to eliminate. Now, in this case, we're gonna notice that we have to multiply both equations by some numbers to make sure that we can line up that elimination. Let me show you how. Let's take a look at this one over here, number 76. Take a look here. There's nothing that we can easily multiply one equation by to get that elimination, right? If you look at the first one, we have negative 11x and 8x. Uh, well, I can't multiply eight by some number, whole number to get 11. Notice over here, seven and four, four doesn't go into seven. That's not obvious to us, right? But here's what you can also do. Remember that whole idea of least common multiple? Might sound familiar, right? Least common multiple. That might be an idea you're gonna be using here because if you look at it this way, my party people, I can multiply seven and four. I can multiply seven by four to get 28. I can multiply four by seven to get 28, right? Look at that. I can modify both equations to make sure that I line up those variables so I can eliminate them and have a good day. This is a very, very, very common technique. It's a hard one, but it's a common technique that I think that you should learn how to do. So here we go. Notice that also we have a negative here and a negative there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wanna make one of them positive. So what I'll do with this first equation, what I'm gonna do with this first equation, if this arrow feels like working, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply this first equation by a positive four, okay? Because when I do that, I'm gonna have negative 11x times four is negative 44x. Negative seven y times four is negative 28y. And then on the right side over here, we have negative 29 times four, a little bit of mental math needed. 20 times four is 80. Nine times four is gonna be 36. 80 plus 36 is gonna be 116. Negative 116 there. Okay, now what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna multiply this bottom equation. I'm gonna multiply this one by negative seven, okay? I'm gonna multiply by negative seven. Why negative seven? Watch this. Negative eight X times negative seven is gonna be positive 56 X. This is where I want you to pay attention. Negative four Y times negative seven is a positive 28. Why? And look at that right here. We have a negative 28 and a positive 28 that we can eliminate, giving us that chance that we were looking for to figure out what elimination is. So here, booyah, and then negative 20 times negative seven is a positive 140. Now we've given ourselves the opportunity to line up the variables with the same coefficients, and now we're good. We can eliminate and we can have ourselves a good time. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these equations together. We have ourselves negative 44x plus 56x. Add these, that will be to positive 12x. Over here, that's gonna eliminate. That's exactly what we wanted, goodbye. So that's gone. And then we have ourselves negative 116 plus 140, which is the same thing as 140 minus 116. So that'll be the same thing as 40 minus 16, so 24, right there. So that'll be a positive 24. And look at that, we've eliminated the y, we just have the x left, and what I'll do to both sides is I'll divide by 12, nice and easy. Divide by 12 on both sides, giving me x equals two. Sweet, do I have to do anything else? Nope, answer choice C is the only one where x equals two, and I am done. Let me go through a couple more examples with you, my party people, you know we got this. We know we got this, so here we go. Let's go ahead and check out, so let's see one where we can, here we go. Let's take a look at 78. So when it comes to number 78, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, hey, you know, which variable do I want to eliminate first? The X or the Y? It really doesn't matter which one. All you have to do is make sure to pick the more convenient situation. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the X values for a moment. The X variables. So we have negative four and negative six. Again, you can't multiply the four by something to get six, but what you can do is you can multiply this top one by three so you can get 12x 
multiply this one by two and you'll also get 12x. Now granted, they'll both be negative. So you might need to multiply one of them, this top one by negative three and then this one by positive two. But either way, you'll line up a negative and positive 12x. So you can eliminate. Or if you wanted to, you could look at the y variables. If you look at the y variables, that's a negative five y, positive two y. I can multiply this top one by two, this bottom one by five, that way they'll both be negative and positive 10 y, allowing you to eliminate that super straightforward. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. I'll go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and get that done starting off now. Let's go ahead and get this arrow going whenever it feels like working. And I'll multiply this top one by two. So negative four X times two is negative eight X. Negative five Y times two is negative 10 Y. Negative 13 times two is negative 26. Next up, the bottom equation, I'm gonna go ahead and multiply this one by positive five. Because what's gonna happen is negative six X times five is negative 30 X. Positive two Y times five is positive 10 Y and negative 10 times ne times five is negative 50. Booyah. What happens here, my party people? Guess what? I can add these equations together now and I'm gonna eliminate the Y, leaving me with the X and I'm free to continue solving nice and easy. So check this out. Booyah, that's gonna go ahead and eliminate. And from there, let's add negative eight X minus 30 X is negative 38 X. Negative 26 minus 50 is negative 76. And so from here, what I'll do is I'll divide both sides by the negative 38, giving myself an awesome opportunity here because it's gonna eliminate the negative 38. And so X equals positive two. And before we continue my math party people, really quick before we continue, I know that you're enjoying this video and I wanna make sure that more people can enjoy these videos just like you. So if you wouldn't mind, just take a quick second, like this video, comment on it, just showing some appreciation, showing what you learned, and then make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that way when we come out with new videos, typically every day, you can be right there on the spot to catch on to them. So help us help others ace the ASVAB. I'm Anderson, let's keep going here. Booyah, do we have any more work to do? Yeah, we do, because we see that A and D are both using positive two for X. So I have more work to do. I'm gonna need to go ahead and plug the two back in so I can figure out whether the negative one or positive one is the y. Sounds good. You can take any of the equations and do that. So again, right here, plug back in. And we're set. Plug the x equals, neg uh, the x equals two back in. I'll go ahead and just take this first equation here. I'll just do that one. Doesn't matter to me. So negative six multiplied by that positive two plus 2y equals negative 10. So let's go ahead and solve this, have ourselves a good day. Negative 12 is negative six times two, plus 2y equals negative 10. From here, we got ourselves, hey, let's just go ahead and add the 12 to both sides, because it's gonna cancel out, giving me 2y equals positive two. And from there, we'll divide both sides by two, and that's gonna be y equals one. So we have a positive one for the y, and so the answer is gonna be two comma one, which is why D is the correct answer. Just like that. So my math party people, I'm gonna do one more example here. So just remember, this is the hardest type of system of equations problems, where you have to modify both, and this is a skill that you're gonna to have to incorporate when it comes to doing what? System of equations were problems, because that's what's coming up next after this. So let's go ahead and get this last one in my party people. Let's go ahead and try out you know, even if it looks hard, I don't care. Let's go ahead and do it here. Let's check out number 79. Let's check out number seven. Actually, let me go ahead and check one out where we have to multiply by a common factor here. Let's see. Let's do number 80. Number 80. So what I'm gonna try to do here, my math party people, is I'm gonna try to multiply these equations to eliminate the x first. So let's take a look at negative 9x and a negative 6x. Let's think about it. If I wanna eliminate the X, I gotta figure out what nine and six can both go into. Nine and six can both go into 36 because nine times four is 36, six times six is 36. So I can definitely do that and that's what I'll do. But remember, 
Over here, we have a negative and a negative. So I'm gonna have to make one of these positive. I'll go ahead and make this top one positive by multiplying the negative nine by a negative four. You really have to think about this, but once you get into the groove, you're good. So with that, I'm gonna take this whole first equation and I'm gonna multiply it by negative four. So negative nine X times negative four is a positive 36 X. Negative 10 Y times negative four is a positive 40 Y. Again, make sure to know your signs here. And then you have the negative 17 times four. Well, here's the thing, negative 17 times four is the same thing as multiplying by two and then by two again. 17 times two is 34 times two again is 68. And since it was a negative times a negative, it's a positive 68. And really quick, before we continue my math part of people, I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more, but mainly in our course, you're going to get access to recorded lessons. You're going to get access to guided practice, just like this worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. Then from here, my math party people, we're gonna take this equation and we're gonna multiply it by what? We're gonna multiply it by six. So here we go, times six, negative six X times six is negative 36 X. Negative 12 Y times six is negative 72 Y. Negative six times six is negative 36. So from here, we're good my math party people. We're good, let's go ahead and solve this and let's have a good day, man, we got this. So add these together, 36 X minus 36 X, that cancels out just like we needed it to. That was the point of it. And now from here, we're gonna go ahead and take care of 40Y minus 72Y. The difference between 40 and 72 is 32. So that'll be a negative 32Y. And then we have 68 minus 36 and that's gonna be positive 32. So we have negative 32Y equals 32. And so our last step over here, my party people, will be to divide by negative 32 on both sides, which is gonna give us what? Well, that's gonna give us y equals negative one. So we have negative one for the y. Do we have any answers that have a negative one for the y? Right there, that's the only question that has a negative one for the y. And so we are done. Booyah. And so there it is, my math party people. I showed you not one, not two, uh, but three questions here where we went ahead and basically, again, modified both equations to make sure we can get that elimination. I want to make sure you get this down my math part of people because at the end of the day, knowing how to do elimination this way is going to spell success when you're doing word problems. So here's what you're going to do now. Moving up now, what you're going to do is you're going to move forward and do those worksheets. After those worksheets, then go ahead and try out again the speed drills. We want to incorporate that speed, that pressure into our practice. That way, when we move forward and do systems of equations word problems, we know how to set them up and we know how to solve them super fast. And that way, when they pop up on the test, ooh, you are golden. And so with that said, my math party people, I'm Anderson, your math coach, and I'll see you in the next video. Let's have fun. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.